Hello guys. So, last week we have seen the big losses in Facebook and Twitter and you see how much they lost uh, in terms of price because of the earning news. Now, tomorrow which is Tuesday 31st August uh, 31st July 2018, we will see the biggest earning news which is apple now why apple is so uh, important for the market understand that apple is one of the stocks of the dow jones it will determine dow jones direction after tomorrow um, market close so i will explain to you guys uh, how things work and what I expect because for me as you know me before for many years I don't predict anything but I will show you the scenarios that will happen as I told you before about uh, Facebook and Twitter and they say it's very dangerous either you should take a decision either to stay or to exit a trade when when you you are scared if you aren't scared you stay as much as you can okay so let's go and check the information for tomorrow which is Tuesday after the market close we will have the um, uh, earning news so let's go and see the information okay so as you can see the information so the earning announcement for Apple will be July 31st which is tomorrow because today is uh, we are on Monday at night Apple Inc. is expected to report earnings on 7, which is July 31st, 2018, after market close. It means after market close at 4 p.m., after a few minutes or half an hour or one hour, the company will announce. The report will be for the fiscal quarter ending in June 2018. Now, according to Zach's investment research, Based on 10 analysts' forecasts, the consensus EPS, which is earning per share forecast for the quarter is 2.17. $2.17. Now, what does it mean, this EPS and forecast and analysis? Okay, so I will just give you an idea what is it. Analysts just try to forecast how much money the company will make for this quarter this is just a uh, virtual okay because you are not you are not getting a uh, $2.17 when the earnings comes you are not this is not a dividend this is just uh, the earnings they divide by the common shares on the market and if you own a share it means that you have made two dollars seventeen cents this is in general but it doesn't affect you okay it is just a virtual thing because the earnings of the company doesn't go to you guys who own the stock yes uh, for uh, the dividend or even the dividend is taken from the price so this is not a dividend this is just the earnings uh, divided by the common shares of Apple now they say two dollars seventeen as as I can see and I make sure I'm not mistaken yes now they say ten analysis it means they try to see and they try to forecast uh, let's say if uh, Apple has made 100 billion dollars or 200 billion dollars I don't know uh, the exact earning they they forecast and they divide by the common shares and they find two dollars seventy understand that you as a trader you have nothing to do with this money two dollars seventeen it doesn't mean that you you are getting two dollars seventeen from the earnings the earnings will never touch you because the earnings goes to the company employees executives 
and we as buyers of Apple or any other stock we are out of the company so you should always understand the difference between you and I and all the investors in the stock market it has nothing to do with the company itself and its earnings they have relation yes but do you get something from the earnings no you are not getting nothing two dollars seventeen cents is just uh, the earnings for its share in virtual but you are not getting nothing now what will happen so in order to end, to teach you what will happen in the real in the stock market I will just go and explain please um, pay attention and uh, I have uh, made a lot of videos like this but this is too uh, is too important for tomorrow because I think that this will change the market direction it will give you the direction of the market tomorrow after the market close at eight o'clock it will be seen as clear if the whole market will be going up or down now why I don't I don't say this for Facebook and Twitter Facebook and Twitter they are very very small compared to Apple Apple is a very very big company okay so let's go to the explanation at least I will tell you what's the difference between Apple as a company and earnings and what's the relation with this company with you who are a trader okay so let's go to the explanation so let's uh, put um, we divide this page into um, into two as you can see okay now we will see that um, this is the company as I told you Apple and this is the stock market it means the stock itself the stock which is a a p l this is the stock a a p l is the uh, stock symbol for company understand that the company and the stock they are two different things and you should make them different now the company we have the earnings okay divided by common shares it means how many shares we have in the company common shares and you will have what you call EPS EPS which is earning which is earning per share it means each share how much it gets now the company earnings EPS we don't know yet we don't know so this here we will never know it's for tomorrow after the market close the company will announce this number now but the analyst is analyst is okay they say it is two dollars seventeen cents per share it means each share of Apple will make a profit as two dollars seventeen cents now what will happen tomorrow after 4 p.m. after 4 p.m. the company will announce the information so this is two dollars seventeen that uh, the analysts say if this is just in general okay this is just in general if the company said the EPS it means the earning per share is more let's say they say it's three dollars understand here when you get the news here in the market good news news that are good for Apple now what do the traders do since they hear this good news they buy long now what does it mean they buy long it means they see that's good news they they all buy 
all the shares that are available after the market close. Now, the result of this is a gap up in the morning, a gap up in the morning. Now, let's say something happened, the news are here, the news are bad. Let's say they say that uh, uh, the EPS, the company said it's only $2, not $2.17, not $3. The news, which, are, which is bad, makes the traders sell short the stock. Sell short the stock. What did happen? We have a gap down. Now, this is in general what happened in big stocks like Apple, Facebook, Twitter, and the other thing. So, tomorrow, we will see either a gap up or a gap down. It means nearly at 7.59, which it means 8 o'clock, which is the close of the, of the market after market close. It will close at 7, it means at 8 p.m., but uh, 7... Uh, 59 this is the end of this so all the actions will happen here will happen from 4 p.m until 8 8 p.m it means four hours now um, the thing is for you for example you want to see these things what you should do okay it's very simple you go to your broker, you put Facebook on the chart, and you try to see after 4 p.m. the price. After a few minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes, when they announce, you will see that either the stock is going up so fast, or it's going down so fast. By this, you will understand that the news are good or are bad. Now, but why we speak about, I speak about Apple too much today, and they say it's very important. This has to do with the market. I will just go to, to the chart of the Dow Jones. Okay, so this is the Dow Jones. Let's see the Dow Jones. Now, as I told you before, this is, uh, this is what from... Uh, 31st of uh, January, 29 uh, January, until now when we have the correction, as you can as you can see, uh, the Dow Jones, 30 stocks are going up and down, up and down, up and down. But tomorrow you will see one big thing. Either the Dow Jones go too much up with a gap up, because understand. That, that Apple is a very, very big stock in the Dow Jones. <sighs> Excuse me. So, either you see a gap up in the Dow Jones. Now, why, uh, why uh, Dow Jones will have a gap up? It's just because Apple is so big. If it goes up, the Dow Jones also will go up, will go up too much. If it goes above, for example, above 26 here, above the, the high that we have seen before, here, the high here, which is 26,627.3. If the market is good, the, the good news, it means that Dow Jones could go up so much and this will push all the stocks up and there is a there is a beginning of a bull market this is what I see now what if there is bad news and Apple collapse if Apple collapse understand that the Dow Jones will go down it, it might be going down to the support or here or crosses I don't know what will happen but it will be a very disastrous thing 
for the Dow Jones because Apple is too big in Dow Jones. Okay? Now here I'm not speaking about the stock because the stock, for example, Apple. Okay? Because for Apple, um, it's the same. It's the same as you can see it here. Apple. It could be going above. There is just a line here. It goes, let's say, 189. It can go to uh, 210 or 216, 222. Or it can go to, from 189. It can go to 170 or 160 or 150. No one knows until we see the news for tomorrow after the market close. So that's why I told you it is so important to uh, get a decision. Now, if you are having Apple, understand that tomorrow, either up or down, either you make a lot of money or you lose a lot of money. So it's a big decision for you. So guys, try to have a good decision and uh, understand that always we risk our money to get money. Sometimes we succeed, sometimes we don't. And this is a part of the game. You will never know what will happen tomorrow. Okay? But for you guys, uh, those guys who are interested, for example, in the day trading, you can follow Apple tomorrow after the market close and understand if you want to buy or to sell, there is no uh, what we call um, a stop order or market order. I will explain. Okay, I will just explain to you for uh, some guys who don't know uh, these uh, things after the market close or before the market close. I will just give you information how things work. At least you will have an idea. So let's go again and let's uh, uh, see. Now. Let's say it is 4 okay, p.m. This is where the trading day stops. But from 4, the stock market continues to work until 8 p.m. Now, the f this is called, all this is called after hours. Af after, after hours trading. Most of the time, the big guys, mutual funds, hedge funds are working here. So it's not, uh, it's something risky. Now, if you are going to watch after 4 p.m., you should have your chart of the broker because uh, in order to see this information, you can go online, like for example, Google or Yahoo, and you find this chart, but it is not reliable so you should see your broker now before we begin explaining you this you should understand this thing now first ask your broker ask your broker this is very very important for you guys ask your broker when your broker stops having a relation with the exchange because understand that some brokers stop at 5 p.m. now the markets the market the exchange stops at 8 p.m. but your broker cannot reach the exchange so if you want to trade or you want even with one share you want to trade you want to see how things work what you should do, first you ask your broker what time your broker stops having a relation with exchange. It means you can't trade. Sometimes your broker says, oh, it's 5 p.m. Sometimes it's 6 p.m. Sometimes uh, another broker, they say, no, 8 p.m. We are open. You can do any, any trade, any order, and it will be, it will be filled. Okay? So the first thing you should do <coughs> is to know 
if your broker is still working because sometimes your broker finishes at five let's say you you buy here at 4 30 or or, or uh, uh, 4 30 you buy and then you want to exit and then you can't reach the market so you get blocked because you, can, you can't you can't reach the exchange because it's your broker who has a link to the exchange not you so your platform doesn't let you go in now let's say uh, at 4 p.m. It is, let's say, uh, let's say the stock is at 189. Now at four, let's say 450, the news comes and you will see that it is 210, just, just a few seconds, it's 210. So you should continue and you begin to, to see 212, 214. 200 uh, maybe 15 220 until 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 8 p.m this is a gap up so you can buy you can sell whatever you like now what if there is at 450 there is the opposite the opposite 189 you see it is 175 and then it goes down 170 165 155 and you see that it's going until 150 okay so this is just approximate thing how things work it could be good a gap up it could be a gap down so you should you should see the price and the price at the beginning is so fast and then it goes slower and slower and slower because the the people who are listening to the news they take decision in seconds in a second they are waiting for just the information good or bad and they place a very large orders that's why from 189 it can go to 210 in seconds okay or it can get down to go down to 175 for example in seconds so they don't wait for people to come but later the stock can continue to go down or it can stop also now, understand that when you are in, uh, after the market, after hours, there is only the limit order that works. So, there is no the other, the other thing. So, the limit order only. It means whenever you want to buy or to sell, you put the limit. And it, since it's going so fast, you should be fast putting one order, it doesn't work, putting the second, putting the third. So you should be fast because this thing is for day traders. It's not for investors. Okay. It's for day traders. You should, you should be quick in order to take the decision and in order to work. If you put a limit order uh, to buy and it doesn't work, you should put another uh, with another price because the price has, has been changing very fast. Now this for the buy and for the exit when you want to sell you should use limit order there is no so market order and stop order doesn't work because you are not in the trading hours that's why there is no market right now it's after the market hours you can't use the stop order so you use only limit order buy and sell okay so this is in general uh, the thing that you should know now if you want to initiate yourself to um, uh, using after hours uh, hours uh, limit order if you want just to try you can buy for example one uh, one share and just you experience trading okay because it is so fascinating when you see things work when you see the price jump either up or down you will see things that you have never seen in real that's why i told you just go to your broker open the chart ask him uh, if uh, if you can uh, trade and watch the time and just you can let's say buy one share and you can just do the experiment because it's not it's not the first time you just begin to buy long or short or sell short 
uh, you begin to be, become to know things. You should need months and years in order to get this. Okay? So, uh, this is just a general thing. I have explained uh, all what you should know right now, and it's very important because tomorrow, I think, after the market close, um, the direction of the market will be set up, in my opinion, okay, either up or down, because I'm not telling you that we have a gap up or gap down. I don't know. So, because I don't know the, the information, and I will never predict. But I will tell you the two scenarios that will might happen, and it's it's very good to watch and to see how the market because a lot of you guys when you see a gap up and gap down you begin to think how this is happen how this thing happen and why it happens why the stock go down why the stock go up it's just something very very easy if you follow the price and what the traders are doing it will be very easy for you okay to understand Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Please, we will see tomorrow, if God wills, at night. I will make another video and explain what, will, what, uh, what uh, has happened. And we can just make a conclusion of the market for the future. Thank you very much and see you tomorrow night.